Well, it's been an interesting couple of months here. Uh, I've had a chance to make a couple of games that I've never been able to play before. Uh, the first game I made was a cribbage board, and that had what was called a stink hole. And now I'm making a cornhole board. So it's been a, an interesting uh, couple of months here. The cornhole uh, game that I made, uh, I started out with a couple of two foot by four foot pressure treated uh, pieces of plywood that were half inch thick. Uh, built a frame up using two by fours. It, it takes roughly uh, three two by four by eight foot lengths to make two of these uh, cornhole games. Uh, I've rounded off the corners a little bit to uh, kind of soften the edges so they don't splinter as much. I sanded the surface a little bit, but not much, because from what I understand, you're supposed to keep the surface relatively rough so the bean bags will uh, stick to the surface and not slide off easily. These are the legs that I prepared. Uh, they're 11 and a half inches long. I kind of rounded over the edges, drilled a 5 8 inch hole through each one so that I could pass the carriage bolt through that. And that basically formed a couple of fold up legs that uh, are up at the head end of the, the board. I used a 6 inch uh, hole saw to cut the hole. The hole's 9 inches uh, from the top of the board uh, and centered. I then used some frog tape to mask off different sections of the board so that I could paint uh, the game boards orange and blue, which is the official Gator colors for the University of Florida Gators. We're Gator fans, so that was important. Uh, the frog tape worked really well, but I had to use a lot of it. Uh, but it did allow me to mask off the different areas of the board and apply the, the colors that I wanted, the orange and blue. Uh, the, uh, the boards... Uh, that I selected for this were, were basically standard two by fours. Uh, these are some of the beans that my wife used to fill the bags. These are a couple of bags that we bought from uh, Walmart, but then my wife decided to make four more bags using uh, duck cloth that she had. And this was blue duck cloth, which went well with our orange uh, gator bags that we had. Uh, she weighed out uh, 15 uh, roughly 15 ounces of beans. I think it was like 15.7 ounces is what each of these bags ended up weighing once they were filled. Uh, this is sort of a regulation weight for these bags. They also should be six inches by six inches in size. That's kind of a standard for that also. Uh, there's an American Cornhole Association if you want to read up more on the rules. Uh, there's about 30,000 members of that association and as you probably have seen the cornhole game has really caught on. It's sort of a combination of, of horseshoes and bean bags. Uh, this is ours kind of put together with a few bags on it. Here you can see with the gator emblem that we've uh, attached to the top. So we're getting all ready for our Thanksgiving uh, cornhole Olympics here at our house when uh, next week rolls around.